What's up, guys? Uh, I'm not good at hitting on women. I'm not good at flirting. I'm very bad at it. I find anytime I try, I get really nervous. What happens a lot is my voice gets lower. I end up sounding like Buffalo Bill from Sounds of Lambs. <laughs> not a good thing. No woman wants a guy walking up like, hi, my name is Julian. I just want to see if maybe you'll get in my van. Come back with me to my place. See the hole in my basement. I can lower lotions and baskets. What do you see? Stop running. Like, that's not how you make friends. So what I've been trying to do lately, I've been trying to change my voice up a little bit, try to sound a little more confident, like Liam Neeson. Yeah. But I come off way too strong. You know, I'll walk up and be like, I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're looking for in a man. You can walk away right now, that'd be the end of it. Or, you can give me your number, and I will call you. I will find you, and why are you away? Come back. I have a certain set of skills. He's gone. Too strong. Okay, too strong. Uh, I've even tried trying to sound more interesting. Like, you want to hear what I have to say? Like Morgan Freeman? Yeah. Downside to that, I narrate everything. That's the downside. So I'll walk up. My word. You are the most gorgeous woman ever seen. Truly the gods took that time. Carving the marble stone to break this angel I see before me. Oh, how the heavens and earth. Bitch, why are you asleep? Wait, I am trying to woo you. Messing with my game. <laughs> One last thing I tried was trying to sound more intelligent, like the president. Very intelligent man, very confident when he speaks. I thought, why not? Just walk up. Hello? You are the uh, most beautiful woman I've ever seen. I'd like to uh, buy you a drink. Perhaps we can discuss our likes, dislikes, find some common interests, and see if we can spark a connection. Now, uh, that might work. Oh, yes. But when you sound like Barack Obama, and if you don't look like Barack Obama, it's creepy as shit. So it doesn't work, guys. It doesn't work. But it doesn't matter, I find it doesn't matter for me how confident I sound, how confident I am. Because I have gone out on dates with women and stuff, and I have spent this money, we're having a great time, I'm thinking we're connecting, something's gonna happen. Nothing ever happens. Because a lot of times I get an excuse like, I'm not one of those girls. Okay, I am not one of those girls. I'm not. And I'm like, all right. You're not one of those girls, I understand, that's fine. But where are those girls? <laughs> Clearly, you know who I'm looking for. <laughs> Point them out. <laughs> I really shouldn't complain about my voice, though. I really shouldn't have a nice, deep, bassy voice. Uh, it sounds like I ate James Earl Jones, really, you know? I can walk around just telling people, I'm looking for my son, Hakeem. Like, I can do that, guys. Simba. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. That's what's going on right here. Uh, I've had this voice for a long time. I'm almost certain I didn't go through puberty. I think I came out sounding like this. My parents didn't wake up to a baby crying. They woke up to wah. Wah. Hey, yo, bitch, I said wah. What a baby gotta do to get some milk over here. I mean, thank <laughs> you. And if I did go through puberty, my balls never dropped. They plummeted. That's right. They plummeted. That's really what happened. Going, and having this voice as a kid, though, was always a little, a little weird, because uh, I'd be my parents' friends, and they weren't prepared for that. Like, they would go down the line, just like, Hey, Timmy, how old are you? Well, I'm 12. Hey, Jimmy, how old are you? I'm 13. Hey, Julian, how old are you? I'm also 13. Yeah. I'm gonna go play in the swings. We. <laughs> it wasn't all that. I would try to use his voice to my advantage, though I would. Vera was running late, knew my mom was be mad at me. What I would do, I would call her up, pretend I got kidnapped, but I would be the kidnapper on the phone. Solid plan, I know. But uh, when, you're, when you're a kid, you're a bad liar, and I was no different. I was a horrible liar, so I'd call her up, scoop the phone call right away. Just be like, hi, mom. Man, bitch, what's in here? We have your son. 
come home right away, mommy. Right away, yes. <laughs> she always knew it was me. She always knew it was me, not because she like knew my voice, because I was a bad liar, but because my parents never worried about me playing outside by myself or getting abducted or kidnapped. Because they knew nobody was to take a kid who sounded like this. <laughs> there was no ice cream truck driving up with a guy inside like, Hi, little boy. I got candy in my van. You want to come with me? That sounds... Oh, shit! Just drives away! <laughs> And I'm standing there candyless and sad. <laughs> guys have been amazing. My name is Julie Hernandez. Thank you so much. Good luck, Tasty guys.